Hello everybody, welcome back. This is your tropical update for June 11th. It's a late update, your nighttime update. Uh, so let's get into it. Our area of interest that we've been watching is now Invest 92E. We also have a new area of interest located south of Central America, which uh, if you've been tuning in, I've been talking about for quite some time. Cool, on this map right now, you can see the area of high pressure, normally called the Bermuda High, located over the Central Atlantic, where my cursor is right here. This is the high right here, and rotating this way uh, right near Bermuda. And so that that is the Bermuda High. We'll probably talk about that a few times over the course of the season. Here's a look at Invest 92E. We see it's very broad and disorganized, which is conveniently what I wrote on the next slide. It's like I knew I was going to do that or something. Maximum wind speeds right now are 25 miles an hour. Nothing too crazy. National Hurricane Center seeing an 80% chance formation within the next five days. So certainly something we're going to want to keep an eye on. For now, it looks like it's going to stay south of the Mexican coast, but we could see some tropical storm force winds near the coast. Uh, if it brushes close by, and it kind of depends where all of that very disorganized uh, weather activity finally coalesces at. Uh, here is our area of interest located south of Central America. There's really nothing there yet. A lot of the convection still remains to the north, and it probably will remain there uh, even once this thing forms. National Hurricane Center is saying a 20% chance of formation within the next five days. We're going to watch out on the Guatemala coast for this one. Uh, and let's take a look at the models. We have a few features we're going to want to talk about. Four features, actually, today. So let's begin with uh, Invest 92L, or 92E. Sorry, This is for Tuesday morning. Uh, it has a tropical storm located south of Mexico, far away from the coast. The coast is where my cursor is at. Um, so really no rain, no big winds on the Mexican coast at this point. The area of interest has coalesced rather quickly um, here on the GFS model, potentially even making landfall near El Salvador. Um, and, and so we'll just keep an eye on what really happens with this. Odds are it'll actually be much more detached from the coast. But we'll see. There's also an area forming uh, on the Caribbean seaside in this model and so we'll keep an eye on that as well. By the time we get to Wednesday morning, the area of interest in the Eastern Pacific has moved near Guatemala. Our invest is now likely a hurricane, still well south of the Mexican coast, which is good news there. Uh, in, in the area in the Caribbean Sea has now become a tropical depression or tropical storm, making very close call with Nicaragua and potentially even Honduras later on. And the fourth feature we have to talk about is up here. This tail from this cold front here uh, does have a little bit of vorticity associated with it. And so this time of year when we still have severe storms over the United States, they come off the coast, potentially spin out and become tropical cyclones. And so in this model in particular, we're going to keep an eye on this very broad area of low pressure located uh, between Bermuda and North Carolina. And by Thursday morning, it becomes a subtropical cyclone or something near that uh, after it passes Bermuda. And so that's just something we want to keep an eye on this time of year. Not saying it will form, but the GFS has been hinting at it for quite some time. Even the European model as well. Now we have a tropical storm located uh, near Nicaragua and Honduras, that area of interest. This is probably when it will actually form if it were to form now near Guatemala uh, in, in our uh, invest is uh, is off the page here, uh, still far away from Mexico, which is good news. So our current land threats, if there are any, are associated with that area near Central America on both the Eastern Pacific and the Caribbean seasides. All of Central America and Southern Mexico need to remain uh, on alert with this storm. And what I mean by these strong, severe systems over the United States, such as this one over Kansas and Missouri today, when that thing comes off the U.S. coast later this week, it could coalesce into something like a tropical storm. And so that's just something we want to keep an eye on. That's all for now, Chris Dixon of Weather, Catholic Media.